What's up guys? Uh, today, we're gonna use our dyno for the first time since it's become operational. Uh, Justin McDougal from x Racing uh, brought a small tire Nova over here, it looks like. Looks like some big block nitrous power coming in. And it's orange as fuck. It's a lot of orange. So is this kind of like a, a big grudge, big secret type deal? Or what, um, what exactly you got here? We did, we did a motor swap on it. It's always had a little stock block deal in it. And we may go back and forth on that. We put a little nicer motor in it because we're going to street race it. And you know, all these turbo queers everywhere. It felt like we needed a little more <laughs> mile per hour. Yeah, turbo's, to, turbo's got the mile per hour. Just ain't trying to sign no L's to no, you know, gay boys. So, no. you know, we definitely up that. We're going to see if we can put four digit power down today and make it reliable. This car on four digit power runs with turbo boys all day, so. Once it gets that fired up, he'll lock that roller and then we can get it crowned on it. So, hoping for at least a thousand horsepower. That's kind of our immediate goal is something reliable, something in the four digit early, you know, bottom four digit range, and then we're just gonna go make a car work. Um, right on. It's never been a big power car, but it's an efficient car. You know, the, the gear package, the converter, everything's real happy. And it does work at almost no power. So. <laughs> Perfect. So, looks like it's single entry nitrous plate. 4150 carburetor, yes? Yes. Sort of? Kind of. It's like 41. <laughs> it's 4150 ish. Change. It's 4150 ish. 4150 and some change. Yeah. So we're going to get this thing strapped down and then, uh, I don't know, I guess start making some pulls, right? You going to make yeah. any motor pulls we're or just straight? To, this is the first time the motor's been in the car. It's brand new. So we're going to go ahead and make a motor pull or two and make sure the carburetor's right. Um, then we're going to light this bitch off on 300 and see what happens. Right on. So first motor pull, finally it made upper 600s. Uh, they're changing plugs, checking timing, making sure everything's right. And now they're fixing to smack this thing with the sauce. So yeah, did it did it do kind of what you thought on motor? Yeah, I mean, it's on track. I mean, it's, we could probably spruce it up a little bit, but who runs nitrous motors on motors? So, Ugh. I mean, fuck those things. It's a little stingy, yeah. you know? Weather shit outside, it's all but raining, yeah. you know? Yeah. So whatever you needed on timing on motor, it's it's got the compression in it for sure <laughs> we could probably get real close to that 700 mark um, if we really worked at it but you know who works it who works at an all motor tune up with a nitrous car we just want to make sure it has a motor i think it's funny because you're no different you are the nitrous guy every <laughs> nitrous guy that puts their shit on a the dyno hey i've done it too Man, we're gonna make you know, couple couple motor passes. You know, they all make one. Oh, one. We and then after that, you spray the shit out of it. Like, okay, that's yes, it. Yeah. that is the motor. <laughs> hey, that's unless the just everything totally goes wrong. Yeah. Nitrous nope. guys make one. Apparently, motor there's pass. eight pistons in it, and it's disappointing. Right. So let's spray it. That's right. <laughs> what uh, what brand of bottle heater do you like? Um, man, I get this NHRA approved. Uh, what they call a bunzomatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, real safe. It keeps anything from happening bad. Nice and nice and even heat distribution. Yeah, you don't want to like stay in one spot. Sometimes you got to put your bottle heat in other areas. Yeah. You know, you don't want to like turn your nice bottles brown or anything. Somebody here was underqualified in that area. Do you uh, do you recommend this for amateurs or professional use only? No, you for sure have to be a nitrous guy with no brains. Right on. They make like lesser bottle heaters for the simple people. Yeah. But this is for men. We just do it this way so everybody understands how manly we actually are. <laughs> we don't want no misconception. So first successful nitrous pool on the Nova here, uh, over 900 horsepower. I believe it was nine. Looks like it was 930. So they're gonna change plugs. That's what nitrous guys do. 
change plugs, make some uh, make some fueling adjustments, and uh, we're still going after that thousand horsepower reading today. So making some power. Dino Dino seems to be working all right. We we'll probably make probably make a couple more total, and uh, see what this thing spits out. That was quick. I, that pull was a lot quicker. Yeah, I was like, oh shit, oh shit, something broke, something broke. So there we go, right there. 1081, all they did, what'd you do? You added two degrees, that's it? So it picked up, what, 150 Don't lie, that's not all we did. We put an X power sticker on it. Yeah. So, so they added two degrees of timing and picked up a bunch of horsepower. And then, we just keep adding two until it quits picking up and rocks fall out? I mean, I like timing, but I've also got a motor over there that proves not all motors do so tim likes time too i put her on two and picks up another 150 he loves time oh, yeah. <laughs> let's check this let's check them plugs and then he's gonna do his all right so we're gonna finish up today almost 1100 horsepower on this little uh x power big block single entry nitrous plate 4150 ish carb all right 4150 i mean and some change have, ish, yeah ish. <laughs> i mean it's similar i mean it's very similar it made what you wanted, right? Four yeah. digits. I mean, we were after four digits. I mean, we we did everything we wanted to do. It made the power on the motor we were hoping for, and then made the power on the nitrous we hoped for. Um, and it'll start them driving the trailer. I mean, winning. As a nitrous guy, when they start driving the trailer, you have won. Yes. Yeah. And it seems that all the pistons are intact. Yeah, I, none fell out of the exhaust, so that's a plus. That's, that's the, always a bonus. The flames were blue instead of red, and there was no smoke associated with them. So Perfect. Good. Perfect. So I'm gonna get this thing loaded up, and then uh, I think we got a Mustang to dyno too, right? Yeah, we're gonna pull the small block car in and see if we can line that deal out. It's been in left field for the last trip to the track anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I seen a cool picture of it. Lots of fire, not everywhere that it should have been. Yeah, in places where it wasn't designed to be. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got a scoop that's no longer with us. <laughs> right on. So they're gonna load this thing up, and then uh, we're gonna pull this Mustang with the small block in here and strap it down and start ripping on it. so dyno day with x power is over uh, the orange car made some pretty good power uh mcdougall's mustang didn't quite show up to party uh he'll get it fixed come back but now we're going racing this weekend it's time to turn loose of the button for the first time in 2021 yeah so i'm ready, I'm ready. uh we want to hit this race not only because uh we're buddies with Keith Haney, uh -huh. you know, and it's his pro mod race. Uh, I've done the race a couple of times before, but we really need to let go of the button because we haven't raced the car since we painted it and put it all back together. Right. So we need to go down there. We've ran through all of our stuff, make sure everything is good to go. We've done all that. We're gonna go let go of the button. Just make sure everything's good to go. So there is a no time class that we're gonna be running this weekend, mm -hmm. you know, I don't really care if people see my time. Yeah, that's just a class that we're going to enter. It's just a class that we're going to enter, and uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, so I got to clean this deal up, get this thing put on. Uh, there was a couple of other things that we totally forgot about, like uh, parachutes. They weren't hooked up. They're important at this track. It's, it's important <laughs> in, in this car too. So uh, things get sketchy. You know, I can pull them or just slowing down from 200 mile an hour yeah uh, you know yeah so. so we're so we're headed down to xrp it's down there in ferris texas it's for the midwest drag racing series uh keith haney and uh his organization put it on it's presented by summit 
Um, so, like you said, no time class, gonna enter it. See how much mile per hours we can pick up with this new shiny paint job from old Sleek Rick over there. We've also got, finally, we installed our uh, turn two radio system. We talked about uh, using this. We watched Ryan use it on the street last year when we were in Nebraska. Seems super handy. And uh, so, so we got one. Super easy install. Uh, here's the button that Sean will use to communicate with me. Um, the radio just installed, I just put it right here on the cage. Uh, it's a little pouch, drop the radio in there. And then the system goes on his helmet. It goes in, the, pull a couple pads off in there, put the earpieces in, and then he'll just plug in with this jack when we're ready to go racing. So super easy install. Can't wait to try it out on the track. We tried it here at the house, got a pretty good yeah. distance away. So you went from my shop to my house is, I don't know, what do you think, 200 yards? Probably, probably. 200 yards, and it sounded like the same as what you were standing right here. So we'll see what happens. As long as he can, as long, cause sometimes we may be by ourselves. Uh -huh. You never know. So, and also like, like we had talked about before, the dude red lights or something, and I don't need to make a, a full hit or I'm going to make a full hit. Let's, let's just get yeah. that out there. I'm going to make a full hit. But if I'm spinning, there's no sense in me just pedaling the shit out of it if I'm already in trouble. Yep. If I'm not racing somebody. Right. I'm going to do it if I'm racing somebody. <laughs> but if I'm not racing somebody and, the, and it's already over, there's no sense in, in tearing the car up. I, it breaks my heart to see somebody crash their car trying to get it down the track whenever the person didn't leave the line that they're racing or yeah. they red lit or something you know that is yeah. the worst uh, nobody wants to see anybody crash but there are worse times like i've seen people crash whenever the race was over and they won they mm -hmm. didn't have to keep getting back in it so reasons like that you know but hey it's worth it if you're racing somebody yes. <laughs> but reasons like that it, you know this is this is going to be a good deal, I think. So. Yeah, it, it'll be cool. Be a little bit of a learning curve, probably, but uh, we'll get it figured out. And uh, I think it's going to be good for our program here. So we'll get this shiny mofo loaded up, and we're going to head south and uh, try to win us a no time race. So we're loaded up. Hopefully the weather is better than it is today. It's cold, rainy, just overall nasty around here. But uh, we're gonna head down there anyways. We're gonna get set up tomorrow. We're gonna start testing Friday and then uh, qualifying begins Friday evening as well. So uh, if you're in the area, it's this weekend, the weekend of March 20th. If you're in the area or even if you're not in the area, come down, uh, cheer Sean on. And uh, you know, if you're not gonna be there, wish us luck. Uh, you can probably watch it somewhere on uh, the internet or it's going to be on uh, MAV TV, I believe. So, um, Extreme Raceway Park this weekend, March 20th. We'll see you there or we won't. But uh, as always, thank you very much for the support. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Uh, give us a like or a dislike or a comment or all of the above if you want to, whatever. It, it all helps with, with the algorithm or whatever it is that they want to say that it helps with. But anyways, thanks again for watching and we'll catch you next time.